All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So today we are looking at a fake Light Sworn card. We looked at the Twilight Sworns during card review, so I was like, you know what? Let's just round that the entire week. Let's just do a Light Sworn week. Why not? So this person created a field spell for Light Sworns, but they already have a field spell. But this one is supposedly better. Uh, I'm warning you right now, the creator of this card said, probably going too far by giving them their own union hanger on steroids. So yes, Light Sworns... This is supposedly the union hanger out of Lightsworn, so we're gonna find out if that's really true or not. So today we are looking at Lightsworn Temple. So, like I said, as a fill spell that reads, when this card is activated, okay, look at the top three cards of your deck, and if you do, place them on top or bottom of your deck in any order. Well, I mean, I get it, it's like that union hanger, you activate it, you get the search, but all I'm doing is look at the top, or the top three cards, put them on top or bottom, rearranging. That's not, that's not, that's not a plus. It's not a search, like Union Hanger. Like, Union Hanger activated, I get a Union Monster. That's, but this, I still neg. Like, at least with Union Hanger, when I activate it, I even out, I play it, I grab. Even out, you know, because it's, it's a pseudo neg. It's a pseudo neg. You, 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 you're you losing resources out of your, known, uh, unknown resources out of your hand. So I play this, look at the top, like, at least could I, like, look at the top three cards, take one, Add it to my hand, take the other two, put it at the bottom, or top, put one on top, put one on the bottom, or something like that? Like, no, no, just put them on top or bottom. All right, that's one less card in my hand to rearrange the order of some stuff. All right, well, maybe you get the whole, like, if I summon a Union Monster, I equip a Union Monster from the deck? Like, ooh, ooh, all right, let's see that. Next effect. Once per turn, if a Light Sworn Monster, Monsters, is sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard, okay, I can pay 1,000 life points, okay, then target one of those monsters, special summon it, but its effects are negated this turn. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. If I'm going to play something during my main phase to allow me to mill, pay the 1,000 to summon the monster back, can I at least not have its effects negated? Like, the summoning is fine. It's like I said, it's, it's not as good as just normal summon and equip a union from my deck. Like, whoo, yeah. This is kind of like, okay, I'm going to activate something to send a, a Light Swarm monster from my hand or get to the graveyard. Pay 1,000, which you don't have to do with Union Hanger. Target one of the monsters that I mill. Summon it, its effects are negated. Whether that be Lila, Lumina, Raiden. Like, I think I'd rather have them with their effects, but they just said it's with effects negated. Now, hopefully, it can be like, have this, summon Raiden, Raiden mill two. One of those is a level four monster. Pay a thousand, summon it back, XC into Minerva. You know, like the plays are there, but yeah, you know, I'm still not really plussing too hard. So I don't know. I don't know. You're, you're comparing it to Union Hanger, but I'm not seeing it. But this card's not done. It has more effect. So next effect is during your main phase, except the turn, this card was sent to your graveyard. All right. So it has like a graveyard effect uh, by banishing it. Awesome. But except during the turn that it's sent, so I have to wait an entire turn. Like, sometimes you can do it the same turn, sometimes you can't. This is one of those that you can't, so, uh... uh you can banish this card from your graveyard. All right, choose one. You spelled Light Swan wrong. Like, you spelled it right at the top of the card, you spelled it right early in the card, but then there's a type right here. You, you, <laughs> I choose one Light Swan card from your deck or graveyard, except for Temple, and place it on top of your deck. What Light Swarm card do I really want to do that with? I okay. And and it's not even like I add it to my hand. I just put it on top of my deck. In which of course I gotta reveal it to my opponent. Like like maybe ride in a lumen like charge of the light brigade. So no, that's not light sworn. Solar recharge, no. Judgment dragon, no. Like like maybe maybe I can put like a lumina so I can go, alright, draw the lumina. Which you already know I'm gonna draw into, you know, some of the Lumina and do that Synchro, maybe Michael play, but I, you know, it's like it's kind of like a level, level chain. Like no one really uses that effect too often. It's just like why, you know? Uh, maybe that Light Sworn Trap card. Then you mill it and then you, you know, get a JD. Maybe that card, but I forgot the name of that card. But no, no, it's you know, my opponent gets knowledge of what I'm gonna do. You know, so. And then it's like during your main phase, it's not even like, you know, during the end of your opponent's turn or something like that. So I use this effect. I put a card, a light swan card from my deck or from my graveyard on top of my deck. And then if I don't mill it, then I'm going to be drawing it during my next turn, in which case my opponent's going to know what I'm drawing. No, no. And that's it. That's it. That's all this card does. It's like, 
You you think you're give, going too far by giving them the Light Swords a Union Hanger? I don't think Light Swords would ever really play this card. Like, you know, like I mailed this card. I gotta wait an entire turn to even activate the fact to then I can only do it during my main phase. Like if it was like during either player's turn where I could do it during my opponent's like end phase, then maybe, maybe mill this and then put stack a light horn monster for your draw phase, but no. I gotta wait a turn to use it, then use it during my main phase, put a card on top of the deck, and if, if it's not something I wanna mill and draw, I'm waiting like two, three turns. Like, come on, no. Like, the first effect is meh, the second effect is meh, then the, then the last effect is meh. Like, you want to compare it to Union Hanger? Like, I see where you're getting with, where you base it around Union Hanger, but you just nerfed and made everything so simple. Oh, and of course, you can only activate one Light Sworn uh, Temple per turn. Can you only activate one effect of Light Sworn Temple per turn, or just activate it in general once per turn? Like, can I only like, activate one, and then if it happens to get destroyed, activate another one, or each effect? Like, I don't know. All I know is that... I don't think this card's that powerful. Like, going too far? I don't think you went far enough, to tell you the truth. Like, I think that this card was real. I don't think any Light Swarm player would play it, similar to the Twilight Swarms. And they would just sit in the box in the tin with all the other useless Light Swarm cards that you don't really touch or play, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. There's your Light Swarm Temple uh, Fake Card Friday. So, if this card was real, would I play it? No. Would anybody play it? I doubt it. I doubt it, but that's the ones already have their own field spell, but that card's not that great either. Their, uh, their continuous spell's not too terrible, but I think that's better than this. But, uh. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this Fake Card Friday, and really, this kind of pseudo Light Sworn week. I, I wasn't planning on doing this. It just happened to be out that way. I'm like, I mean, there's two Light Twilight, uh, Twilight Sworn cards. There's the Kukarus, and I was just going looking at some cards on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Cardmaker.net, and it's having to come across this for... Fake card Friday. I'm like, all right, let's do it. So, Light Thorn Week. All right, it's over. So, uh, maybe I could play Light Thorns during uh, the Daniel Duel's live stream. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Anyway, hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Um, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell for notifications. Uh, I, of course, I will be back tomorrow with more Yu Gi Oh! related content. So, really do appreciate it. If you guys have any fake cards, be sure to comment them, send them over. If I deem them, Interesting enough, I will go ahead and do a fake card. Um, just be sure to actually put the effect in the comments so I can just have to copy and paste it and put it in the description. That way I don't have to sit there and actually type it out because that's actually a pain. It kind of is. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys uh, next week with some more Fake Card Friday. All right, people. Thanks for watching.